the better half went to Santa Claus on my behalf and got me off the coal list and got me this. Quick change tool post set from China. Anywho, so I thought I'd uh, kind of do a quick unboxing of this and uh, kind of show what I'm going to have to do to get this thing to work. Because I honestly, I have no idea how I'm going to get this to work on my Grizzly G4000, but uh, we're going to... We're going to try. We're going to see what, what we got to do to make this work. So this is the wedge style. It's a 250-11, whatever that is. And it came from CDCO Tool Machinery Corporation. I, I always love it. They, they go to the effort of making this, and then they apparently feel they can't um, modify a PDF, so they go on and, like, copy, like, in real life copy and face white out put a sticker on for the prices on some of these things like you can kind of see like where they <laughs> i don't know it's like they have a master copy and it's easier to do print type than to go on a word processor that always always makes me chuckle a bit hmm? nothing too crusty there that seems okay probably should go get some gloves on to avoid the cancer if you're allergic to latex, look away. Obviously, if you have the correct style plate, you can machine yourself a T-nut. Um, that will let you just plain old put it straight on to that style of, uh, oh, was it compound side? Yeah, that style of compound side. Threads in there. I wonder what kind of threads these are. Yeah. So M14 by 1.5. So coarse threaded. Next thing I gotta think about is height on this thing. This is our standard barrier. I think we'll obviously this. I'm sure how this is. I think I told the wife in AXA size, but golly, that seems awfully tall, doesn't it? We can keep the top compound. Just enough room, <laughs> just enough room that we could keep uh, we could keep this compound if we want, uh, or we could take off all of this and just mount this directly to here and get rid of this whole rigmarole. It'd probably make it a little stiffer, but we'd lose the ability to do angles. So let's maybe think of doing. Can we do both? Is there a way to do both? Either way, this needs to come out, because that's no bueno as it is. So we're going to need to deconstruct this right here. So let's get on that. Go ahead and keep everything together in case this takes multiple days. All right, now she's signed free. Take her all the way out. Apparently, I didn't have that adjusted well. The middle one's barely touching. Oh, looks like they actually made an attempt at scraping this flat, uh, hand scraping that flat. That's nice to see. Not sure how good the job they did. Okay, so that's probably press fit in there. Hmm. I think we're going to try the old percussive maintenance on to put a piece of wood on the bottom so we don't mess up the surface. And I think we're going to do a little tap tap a roo. If you're squeamish, look away. There we go. She's out. Looks like she's splined to keep her from rotating. No countersunk coal. And the threads are still good. So, we can still go back to the old way if we need to. Hmm. 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 
Do we... I've already got this bolt here. And we know it's the right length, it's threaded, it's blackened. What if, what if, mind you, we were to take and drill this out to, uh, to an appropriate dr diameter to accept M14 by 1.5 threads. So we'll drill and tap this hole for, for 1.5, screw that in. Now the question is, if we ever want to go back to using this, we may be sorely out of luck. Or we would have to make an adapter that would go from this uh, thread here, and length and offset and all that, to a much larger M14 by 1.5. So, we still could go back to reusing the original compound if we wanted to, we would just have to make a new adapter. All right, I'm okay with that. So let's look at whether or not we can get an M14 by 1.5 tap, either locally or if we already have one, because uh, we're gonna need it. So I just had one of these inserts fall out, this one here, it's gone. There's like a little pointed insert on the end of that cap. Yeah, so my local hardware store doesn't have a M14 by 1.5 tap. So the plan is to use a one half twenty tap and die, and thread this end for one half twenty, and thread the that portion that we saw earlier uh, for one half twenty. Uh, yeah. So all we're gonna do now is do that. There should be plenty of room. There we go. 501, roughly. So because the last couple threads aren't fully formed here, I'm going to go ahead and undercut that. Um, with that. Alright. Well, that's one way if you don't have a bottom die. <laughs> I think this is working. I want those last couple of threads to be fully formed. Next part will be take and drill this out to accept our larger uh, thread. Um, if if you were to do this properly, you should probably put this in the four jaw chuck, so that way you wouldn't have to have any other power tools. But I trust my drill press to drill a pretty perpendicular uh, to this plane hole that uh, I'm willing to risk it. But really, you should put this in the four jaw chuck, but I'm in a hurry and lazy, so don't do what I do. So I think it goes without saying, don't do this at home. Okay, so here we are, moment of truth. Pokey bit in two hole. One thing you want to make sure that you don't do is thread your, put too much threads uh, on this to where you're going to interfere with the slide's action. You want this to be below this surface, otherwise it'll catch as it goes through. So we've replaced this piece, which is what it came with, threaded for M14 1.5, uh, and we've now threaded it into here, and we're going to use the stock nut, still using M14. Threads. This should work. This is going to work. I have a good feelings about this. This is definitely going to work. It looks a little weird, I admit. This is way maybe a size too big for this uh, particular machine, but I wanted the option to uh, keep it on here or remove it entirely and possibly get rid of this compound uh, slide altogether. So. Uh, you live with your choices. Speaking of which, let's go put this together. This is good. Now the fun is happening. Fun! All right, so earlier I disassembled everything and put it into here. What we 
have now is to reassemble it. In order to do that, we are going to have to put that slide back in. Um, this, there's a little notch that goes towards the rear half. And then you'll have these three pins. Uh, the pointy end will go into the inside. And then the set screw will get installed on top of it. So go ahead and thread it in until that protrudes out. Put that right in there so that catches so I can't move backwards and forwards. And then uh, go ahead and take your compound slide. Mind you, make sure you've cleaned all the grit out of this. Slide on the bottom. Slide her in, just like that. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. Okay. Did you have your shoes on? You need help with your shoes? What? I thought you were a big boy. I'm coming. But it's the wrong sh it's the wrong foot. So my son's joining me in the shop here, but uh we'll keep going. So once again, a little pin inside. And we'll go ahead and thread these down. And then this is a royal pain in the butt, making it better. What are you doing? I'm measuring. Measuring what? Measuring a lamp. You're measuring my lamp? Yeah. Okay. Well, tell me how big it is. It's really big. Like how many really bigs? Two? Three? No. Four? Four really bigs, big? Yeah. <laughs> that's a file. That's not a. It's not a ruler. That's a file. Oh. Uh, uh. Wee. That sounds cool. Yeah, I think it is. Do you think it's cool? Me too. Well, I'm glad you like it. Because instead of having a college fund, Daddy bought this. Does that sound good? Yes. <laughs> well, I should say Mommy bought this for Daddy instead of a college. Putting money in your college fund. Don't judge me. You do it too. So we got plenty of height up and down, and if we ever decide to get rid of this, we will have plenty of height because we're at the bottom of our stroke. A little overkill, yes, but we'll have plenty of height if we ever decide um, to ditch this and instead just go with this only and maybe like a small spacer block because we'll have plenty of uh, height this way. So as we drop this whole assembly down, potentially this could slide up and make up the difference. So, all in all, very happy. Everything seems to be working good. Um, as far as this particular, uh, what is this, a 250-111, whatever that is. Um, you know, it seems like there's a little too much play in these threads. Because uh, I have to go here before I actually start uh, releasing it. <coughs> So uh, it feels a little, I don't know, a little juicy, a little weeble wobbly, I don't know, whatever this is. I'm not sure how the internal mechanism works, but hey, what are you going to want? Beggars, choosers, it was 150 bucks and it came with a whole bunch of these, uh, you know, your typical 
you know, parting blade one. I'd really have rather have one another one of these, but so we're gonna have everything we need now. This is excellent, excellent, excellent. Really excited, really happy with the how that turned out, and that wasn't that wasn't really more than a, a couple hours worth of work. Um, would have gone quicker if I'd watched this video ahead of time, you know, from the future. I wouldn't have had to have taken this apart twice uh, in order to do it. So yeah, uh, just a quick recap. We took the existing, the one that came with it, this upright bolt, this bolt here, and uh, we took the, the the M14 threads on it. Uh, used the lathe to take it down to 0.501. We then uh, put threads on it for one quarter twenty using a die. Or sorry, not one quarter twenty, one half twenty uh, using a die. Uh, we then drilled this out. Use an appropriately sized um, bit. So half twenty threads need to get about four five thirty one. Can't wait to take. Uh, do my first project with it because this is going to make life so much easier. All right, hopefully that helped you. And um, yeah, this real simple project, real easy. I'm, other than you do have to have um, a quarter, uh, one half twenty tap and die, and that's really it. And the appropriate drill. So maybe another fifteen bucks in materials to do what I did. And um, yeah, and you can have yourself one of these. Hey, thanks for watching. If you if this helped you out, let me know. Uh, enjoy feedback, uh, criticism, <laughs> whatever. All right, talk to you later. Bye.